Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Character Wolf here bringing you another Minecraft World War II tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and doing the Toad version of the Pack 40. I just recently released a tutorial for the deployed version of the Pack 40 as you can see right behind me. Uh, if you want to be, if you want to check that out, I'll have a link down in the description or you can just go ahead and go to my World War II playlist. The playlist will be one of the more uh, recent additions to the playlist. Um, but anyways, it's a uh, very cool design. Um, as you can see, the deployed version love the way it came out and this is a redesign for my old version uh, which again was absolutely terrible the reason I'm splitting these two up is because I want to go ahead and cover some uh, you know features and how you can attach it to a truck and everything like that as you can see in the background there I have it attached to an opal blitz um, and all that fun stuff a new design for the opal blitz as well uh, so uh, a lot of cool stuff you can do with this uh, gun and um, it's meant to be mainly for towing the gun around and stuff like that as this was a feature with the gun being able to be towed around by uh, vehicles and all that stuff and everything like that. I'm not going to cover too much historical information about the Pac-40 other than it was a 75mm anti-tank gun that basically formed up the backbone of the German army uh, and their anti-tank forces. Uh, I personally think it was probably the most deployed um, AT gun by... Uh, the German army uh, throughout the war really uh, very common and uh, of course very deadly um, so anyways going to take a look at the toad version uh, you can see it's pretty much the same uh, main body for the gun and everything like that as the uh, of course the uh, tutorial over here uh, the main difference you will see is that you have the uh, arms that are kind of folded in to connect up to each other and you kind of come to this end bit on the very end here uh, so you have basically what would be like these little plows that would kind of dig into the uh, ground and allow the uh, gun to be fired without having it, you know, be pushed back by recoil and all that stuff. Um, so it kind of stabilizes the gun and everything like that. Um, you can see that these are kind of clamped together on the very end here, uh, like so. And it would, of course, be towed by a truck. And you can see here kind of how that would work. Something kind of a, uh, that sort is what you would want uh, really for this thing to be towed. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the store by having this thing just flat um, deployed like this. You could have this in a storage yard or something like that as well. And uh, I'll also be showing you guys how to attach up to a truck. And this will pretty much work for uh, most of my German vehicles as uh, well that would uh, be able to transport a gun like this. Anyways, guys, enough with the talk. Let's go ahead and move into the tutorial. All right, guys. So going ahead and moving on to our first layer, we have layer one. Now, for layer one, what we want to do to start off with is we're going to go ahead and place down a stone brick uh, top side. And this is going to be right here on the very front of the gun, just like this, or the very front of the uh, two uh, stabilizing arms like this on the very front so that top side right there you can see that's what we went ahead and just placed down after you have that done we're going to place down a stone brick stair like this on both sides after you have that done we're going to place down a uh, row of two of stone brick top stabs that comes off the center top stab so basically in total you have a row of three here um, going out to the sides here you're going to take stone brick top stabs place down one like this out to either side like so followed by one two and three going forward one two and three Going forward, so you basically have these uh, two these uh, two rows of four like that for the arms. When you get to this point right here, we want to go ahead and place down uh, what we're going to need to grab is an iron trap door. Um, which, if I can go ahead and grab one here just real quick. Uh, we're going to grab ourselves a iron trap door, place it down in between these uh, two uh, stone brick top stabs right here on the very end. And we also want to go ahead and place down a dark oak fence gate in between these two uh, stone brick top stabs like so. After you have that done, we're going to place down a stone brick top slab after this uh, iron trap door like so, followed by an end rod like this on both sides. We're also going to place down an upside down narrow brick stair on both sides, basically where this end rod is, to kind of connect it up uh, like so, uh, for the wheels here and the axle. After these narrow brick uh, stairs, we're going to place, the, or this narrow brick stair, we're going to place down one more going back on both sides. We're then going to place down a row of three of stone brick top slabs, followed by a row of three of signs across them just like that. And as you can see, that's going to pretty much do it for the gun here. You can see that we have it facing this direction as it would be facing backwards when being towed and um, everything like that. Anyways, that's going to do it for layer one. With that, let's go ahead and move on to layer two. All right, guys, so moving on to layer two. Now, for layer two, we're going to start off by taking our stone brick stairs. We're going to place down a row of three across the very front, just like that. Sorry, stone brick half stabs. I might have said stairs there, just a nice row of three across the top right there. We're then going to place down a lever on top of that uh, stone brick top stab, just like that, and have it facing toward the stone brick top stab like so we then want to take a stone button place it down on these two stone brick top stabs like that on both sides after you have that done on top of this uh, dark oak fence gate here we're going to place down a stone brick half stab we then want to go ahead and place down a sign on either side of the half stab like so 
After you have that done, we're going to place down a nether brick stair like this. Uh, we're also going to grab ourselves a trip bar hook on the back of the nether brick stair. We're going to place down a trip bar hook. And over here on the front of the stair, we're going to place down a sign like so. When you get to this point here, we're going to place down an anvil in the very center. So you may need to go ahead and grab that, of course. Uh, we're going to place down an anvil on top of that, um, this uh, iron trap door, just like that. After you go ahead and have that done, we then want to go ahead and place down a polished anesthetic block, uh, which we can go ahead and probably grab from a close by tutorial. I'm too lazy to go into my inventory. I'm just going to go ahead and grab one like that. A polished anesthetic block after the anvil like so. And we're also going to need to grab ourselves some droppers. And next to these, or next to this uh, polished anesthetic block on your side, we're going to place down a dropper just like that. Now, uh, when it comes to a little bit of detailing here, we're going to grab ourselves some skeleton skulls. On the right side of the gun, right over here, we're gonna play, we're gonna place down a uh, uh, a uh, skeleton skull on the hopper, or on the dropper, my bad, and on the anvil over here on the left side. So just like that, our guns gonna be facing that direction and stuff like that. So you wanna make sure you have, um, you know, that looking like that for the instruments and all that stuff, right there. Now when you get to this point right here, we're gonna need another brick stairs again. We're gonna place down two another brick stairs back to back on top of those two another brick upside down stairs. We also want to go ahead and grab our polished ASA. We're going to place down one more full block coming off the one full block we placed in the previous layer or the previous row, just like that. Uh, we then want to take a, a cobblestone wall, place it down on either side of this polished ASA block, like so. After that, we're going to place down a snow break upside down stair, come off the polished ASA block, followed by a skeleton skull like that, come off the stone break upside down stair. Once you guys have that all done, that's going to basically do it for layer two. And with that, we'll move on to our last layer, layer three. Alright guys, so moving on to layer 3. Now for layer 3, what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start off by placing down a stone brick so half slab on top of this nether brick stair, just like that. After you have that done, on the left side here, we're going to place down a sign, um, come off that stone brick half slab. We then want to place down a second stone brick half slab, and then a third one like this. On your side of the stone brick half slab here, we're going to place down a um, stone brick stair like that on both sides. Over here on the left side, we're going to place down a wither skeleton skull coming off that stone brick stair. Over here, we're not going to do anything. We're going to leave that completely alone. Going ahead and continuing on, up here in the front, we're going to place down a stone brick stair. Uh, coming off the stone brick half slab. We're going to grab ourselves a skeleton skull, and we're going to go ahead and basically place down uh, skeleton skulls on top of those cobblestone walls at 45 degree angles. So something just like that. Once you have that done, we then want to go ahead and take our stone brick half slabs. We're going to place down one, two, three, four, and five. Uh, and actually, sorry, my bad, six coming off this stone brick stair. Uh, we also want to take signs. We're going to place down signs on the first stone brick half slab right here. And we're also going to place down signs on the other side of this stone brick half slab on the very end like that. Uh, we lastly just want to go and grab ourselves an iron trap door. Place down an iron trap door on the bottom of that stone brick uh, half slab just like that. And once you guys have that all done, that's going to pretty much do it for the gun. As you can see, that's pretty much the gun in its uh, toad uh, formation, formation or whatever you really want to call it. Um, it's toad state and everything like that. Um, if you guys want to go ahead and stick around, I'll show you guys how to connect it up to the truck and everything. Very basic modification that will make this thing look uh, really nice in convoys and everything like that. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and attach this to a truck and uh, pretty much complete the tutorial. Alright, so right here I have a nice uh, standard Opal Blitz uh, cargo truck just to set up here and ready to go and everything like that. You guys can imagine that you would have an Opal Blitz truck probably on a road or maybe in some kind of military storage facility, something of that kind of sort, but you want to add an AT gun being towed behind it, specifically the Pack 40 Now, for this to uh, work, we're going to go ahead and add the Pack 40 on and basically build exactly what I just told you guys to build. Um, so your pack 40 should look something just like this. So if you built the pack 40 completely accurate and how we just did it, it should look something like this. Now, uh, it looks good, right? It looks connected up, all that stuff. However, when you look at this area right here, it doesn't seem really nice. Um, you got this weird spacing. This would be dragging across the ground and all that stuff. Obviously, there's some problems in this area. So we're going to go ahead and modify the design to make this thing actually work. And this should work with pretty much the majority of all German vehicles I ever do uh, to connect this thing up and have this thing towed. Now, what we want to do for this is we're going to go ahead and pop back over, bring your hotbar back online, and get this thing built up and ready to go. Now, very simply, we're just going to mainly need stone brick stairs and stone brick half slabs to pretty much make this work. Now, uh, we have this whole section built in here. We're going to go ahead and start deleting blocks. So, these two stone brick top slabs here that have the buttons, we're going to delete these two ones right here. We don't need those. We're then going to go ahead and delete these two stone brick top slabs as well. And this whole section here with, this, with the stone brick stairs and the stone brick top slabs. Now to go ahead and edit this whole area, we're going to go ahead and instead of placing down some stone brick top slabs here, 
We're going to go to place down Snowbird Calf Slabs. They're going to kind of go up uh, just like this. So you can kind of imagine a little bit of a staircase going on here. They're just going to go up by one like so. We then want to go ahead and place down a snow brick half slab, kind of in the middle. So we're going to go, going to go diagonal, connect them up like so, followed by a second snow brick half slab, just like that. Now, when you get to this point here, uh, we want to go ahead and put the, obviously, the, uh, you know, snow brick stairs. We want to make something very similar to, uh, you know, what is located there up at the front. So to go ahead and do this, we're going to place down a snow brick stair like, like this on pretty much either side. It's going to be a little bit uh, weird to kind of get this to work. Um, but we're going to place down a stone brick stair basically like this on both sides. If I can actually get it, that'd be helpful. Maybe I can just go ahead and do this. Probably a little bit easier there. So just a stone brick stair like that and a stone brick stair like so. Now, since the, the Opal Blitz does have these stone brick stairs here incorporated in with it, it will change these to corner stairs, but for other vehicles, it probably would uh, remain just stone brick stairs here. Um, then in the middle here, we're just going to go and place down uh, two stone brick, or uh, stone brick, sorry, my bad, a stone brick top slab here or sorry half slab and then a top slab on top of it to make it basically a full block and of course on accident i broke the stone brick stair over here uh good job gary on that one now once you have that done we're going to take our stone brick half slabs again to keep that consistent design to it we're going to place down stone brick half slabs on these uh, stone brick stairs and of course you may need to modify the design of the truck uh, for whatever one you're using and all that stuff and boom once you guys have that done you have the pack 40 set up and uh, ready to go uh, one thing you could also add for probably a little bit of uh, detail to kind of fill in where the lever is missing is, uh, you know, the little lever we have there is probably just a stone brick stair located right in that section as well. But basically, once you have that all set up, that's pretty much how you make the Pack 40 being towed. Again, very simple um, and uh, looks real nice and will definitely add a lot to military convoys and everything of that uh, sort. So, anyways, guys, hope you guys did enjoy the tutorial and are able to put this into good use. If you guys do end up using this design, I do ask that you guys give me proper credit for it. This would be a thing from Asana the Build, tweet with my channel or this video, there's many social media sites. Just be sure you get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for when these these tutorials. It uh, helps my channel grow, and it helps uh, me continue to feel motivated to produce this content. So be sure to give me credit if you guys enjoy the designs, and as long as you guys do, you guys are free to use the build for whatever projects you guys are working on. And other than that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 24, and I'll see you guys next time.